Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Compete Mentality Podcast. This week, we wanted to do something a little bit different. My name is Matt, and for those of you who don't know me, which is probably most of you, I get to help uh, produce and edit and publish this podcast behind the scenes alongside Jordan. And uh, it's truly been a blast to get to give a voice to some of these really important conversations that I know I have personally benefited and learned uh, so much from them since I've started uh, being a part of this. And so we wanted to reshare an episode uh, where Purdue Power Forward Mason Gillis shares the story, sort of the journey behind the night that he shot a record nine three-pointers in Mackey Arena last season. And whether you're a basketball player or not, I think this story really illuminates the power of how do you bounce back from discouragement and still choose to move forward and show up for yourself and for the people in your life, even when the past might be telling you a different story, you can always write a better one. And so we hope you enjoy this episode of the Compete Mentality Podcast. It all speak for itself. Grinding and sound ain't nothing to tell. When we step on the court, we gon' bring it to light. And we stop and pop like we caught it a light. Stop asking what's wrong with me. You already know there's a dog in me. And there's no stopping my focus, man. Make sure all my people gon' ball with me. Yeah, I came to compete, I'm a dog with it. Yeah, I came to compete with my paws in it. Uh. What's up, CTA family? Welcome back to the, to the Compete Mentality Podcast. The Compete Mentality Podcast exists to motivate educate and inspire you guys to compete. Our definition of competing is doing what God calls you to do even when it's hard. And ladies and gentlemen, today is a very, very special episode. I have my man, Mason Gillis of Purdue Men's Basketball here today on the show. Mason, thanks for joining us today. Absolutely, man. I'm excited to get into it and uh, thank you for having me. Absolutely. And uh, we always love to start off this podcast talking about food. We're big foodies at CTA. As much as we take care of our mind, body, and spirit, uh, you gotta have that cheat meal every once in a while, like twice a month. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, in, in Lafayette here, Mason, what is your go-to cheat meal? Yeah, I'd say a couple of months out of the season, we have more than two cheat meals. <laughs> I uh, feel you on that. And then, I would say Five Guys. I've always Ooh. loved Five Guys. You know, the fries are the <laughs> best out. They give you way more than you need. Um, you can make a burger however you want. And I've never had a bad burger there, so I've never had a bad experience. So that's my that's, cheat meal. That's my favorite cheat meal. That, that's, a, that's a great one. That's a great one right there. Mason, we have a very wide audience here on the podcast from business owners to um, hoopers, obviously, coaches, trainers, uh, young hoopers, pro hoopers. But today, uh, we're going to continue on our series called Tell Me Your Story. Mm -hmm. Tell Me Your Story. And we're gonna dive into a very specific story that is really unbelievable in what you went through. And we're gonna talk a lot about the story of you setting the Mackey Arena record, mm -hmm. nine three-pointers, February 3rd uh, against Penn State. So to lead up to that, Mason and I, first off for all of you guys listening, if you have a son or daughter, wants to play basketball, aspiring to play college basketball, pro basketball, whatever it is. I couldn't think higher of this, this man here. He's, he's battled through so much in his lifetime, injuries, uh, different things that we, we could do a whole nother, we could do a whole series on. <laughs> and, and guys, that's life. Like, it ain't all sunshine and rainbows, no, no, man. No, no. And so, I think I've been, I've been training professional basketball players for 12 years and when people look at highly successful individuals like yourself, they think, you know, they don't got no problems, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> right? Not. But like, I want to dive in here um, to, to this Penn State game and really just want to hop right into it. So uh, Mason and I, we, we got connected uh, and we've been training it's been more than a year. Yeah. Hasn't it? I forget yeah. when we started. Yeah, it's over a year now. And uh, really two birds of a feather. Mm -hmm. um, our relationship runs deep. And 
iron sharpens iron. I know he calls me his trainer, but he's impacted me. Uh, I, I owe him. He's impacted me in far greater ways from his example. Um, he's a level one uh, dream season, which is our mindset training program. He's my youngest to, to do that. <laughs> I work with a lot of prof adult professionals in that, so that just speaks to the maturity that he has. And uh, really, we're attracted to each other's just work ethic, our, the way we push each other on the court and in life. Um, we talk on the phone every day. Uh, so to tell this story that we walked through together of Mason setting the Mackey Arena record, this is, this is gonna be really good, so hold on tight. So Mason, I want you to set the stage for our audience of really what you were going through mid-season and that, you know, just you, mm -hmm. you guys were having a su successful season as a team, but people don't know some of the, uh, the ups and downs and hills and valleys that you were going through. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, like he said, everybody goes through things. Uh, they may be different, they may be the same. It's all about how you can carry yourself through it. Um, and also having help going through situations. And in my situation, it was a long season. Um, we were playing really well. I just wasn't playing how I wanted to play. Um, I felt like I could do more at the time. I felt that um, just I wasn't fulfilling what I could be doing. And so, you know, when we're talking, we're having a great season. I'm playing well, but I just feel like I can get to another level and like I can do more. Um, and we're having success on the court, we're winning. And so leading up to the Penn State game, I forget those couple games. I'm pretty sure we won. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not entirely sure, I forget. My memory with that is awful. Uh, uh, I have to go back and check. But in our conversations, we talked a lot about, and to summarize it, it's just to relax. Um, mm -hmm. Like whenever you're reaching a goal, you can't run the hamster wheel to get there. <laughs> you're never going to get there. If you keep just pushing, 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 and you're driving yourself crazy, and it's causing stress, and the stress leads to other things, uh, you're never going to get there. But we talk a lot about um, grind, or align, don't grind. And so what that means is having a goal, having an idea of what you want, um, and then putting a plan in place, breaking it down every single day and working to get there and not focusing on the goal every day, but having the goal in, your, in the back of your mind every day and focusing on the work and the process that it takes to get there. I want to talk about that word specifically, the process. Mm -hmm. So, love what you just said. We want to align with our purpose, our unique design, and exploit it in the service of others. And in the process of a alignment in doing that, uh, we can't be focused on the results. Yeah, <laughs> we live exactly. in a society of, we want results now. Mm -hmm. We want results tomorrow. And that's, I love playing for my coach because he always talks about that. Uh, two things that probably stand out to me the most is um, we're process-based, not results-based. He just preaches that all the time. Like, don't worry about the results, worry about the work. And like I just said, the work that it takes to get there every single day. And so, like, Jordan being able to preach that to me every single day, Coach Paint being able to preach that to me every single day, it put me back into a good spot. Um, and then along with confidence and being able to go through a bad game and have to focus on the next practice and then the next game ahead, um, another thing that Coach Paint always preaches is don't worry about misses or makes, worry about mm. the kind of shot that you're taking, the quality of shot for the team. And so it's the same thing. Don't grind a line. Don't worry about missing or making, worrying about the process of that shot. I, I want to talk about Coach Painter there for a second. You got two men who've been extremely impacted mm -hmm. by Coach Painter uh, sitting here talking today. And Coach Painter, uh, I was a manager for Coach Painter. He's had an enormous impact on both of our lives and is really the epitome of <laughs> what we're talking about Absolutely. here. Mindset, um, helping, uh, dialing in, focusing on the process, not mm -hmm. the result. Showing up and doing your job every day, every mm -hmm. day, every day. Show up, do your job, not worried about the outcome, yeah. right? The results are gonna come. I wanna talk about, so people get it. Okay, I get it. Focus on uh, the process, not the results. So we got our camp coming up here. Mm -hmm. Super excited about it. 
super excited about it. And uh, we got a location at Rossville, Indiana. Uh, this is, I'm, I'm excited about this. This is my hometown high school I went to. And then we have a location at Twin Lakes High School, just north of Lafayette. So competetrainingacademy.org, check out, check out the details there. Mason and I cannot wait to give you more stories like this one, mindset tips. Uh, our shooting, we're, we're, the whole point of this camp is to improve your shot yep. and transform your mind. Uh, that's and something. the two and two go together. Because <laughs> if you don't have confidence, you don't have the ability to move on from a bad shot, or not a bad shot, but a missed shot, and it just spirals down to more missed shots. You know, that's what we work on a lot. Uh, we just got done working out, and I missed a couple shots in a row, and Jordan's speaking to me, just relax, like focus on the process, what my elbow, what is wrong. Don't worry about missing or making the shots. Mm -hmm. Worrying about doing the right process to get the result that you want. So that's exactly right. You, listeners, you, you're like, okay, I get it. How? Mm -hmm. Right? You and I are real big application guys. Like, all right, yeah. we, we, you ain't got to worry about our work ethic, right? Mm -hmm. Just tell, tell me what to do, coach, right? Yeah. Tell me what to do and I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. So what are some things that you do on a daily basis to take care of your mind, body, and spirit that work for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the most simple thing I think that the it's been the best thing for me is just stretching in the morning. Um, one that gives mm. me alone time, gives me quiet time. Um, I like to think, I'm not a huge thinker, but I do like to think alone and like just kind of ponder about ideas, like business ideas, uh, relationships, just whatever it is. I try to take that time in the morning to myself, um, a little bit of self-care, read a little bit. I'm not the best at reading. I need to get a little bit more consistent <laughs> on that, but school deters me from reading, so that's okay. <laughs> Once I get out of school, I'll probably read a little bit more. Um, but definitely just taking time alone, um, journaling, meditating, mm -hmm. you know, those things, getting your mind right early in the morning so that you can have the best day possible. Stacking that day by day by day by day, mm -hmm. you get a week, you get a month, you get years, you get seven years. Six. And then you're in, you're in a great spot. There's no way that you can't be in a great spot when you're constantly taking care of yourself, you're constantly raising your awareness, and then that'll trickle into basketball, that'll trickle into your business life, that'll trickle into your love life once you start taking care of yourself. Your life is going in the direction of your strongest habits. Absolutely. Your life is going in the direction of your strongest habits. Mason, I want to go right into the Penn State game, and we talk about, man, <laughs> you know, this game is not just physical, mm -hmm. right? It's mental. And when we remove blockages in our life, it releases energy to realize our purpose and maximize our potential. Mm -hmm. So kind of give us uh, the days leading up, you know, to the Penn State game, removing those blockages, just paint the picture, and then we'll go right into the game. Yeah, like I said earlier, I remember feeling just kind of like not the most confident in myself. It wasn't like I was playing awful. I was still helping the team out. We were, we were still on a great track. I just wanted more. And so yep. talking to you, uh, you know, we talked about the, gr the line don't grind. And we also talked about um, past relationships and mm -hmm. healing those, mm -hmm. you know, whenever something in your past and you're not aware of, it's still there, mm -hmm. but you're not thinking mm -hmm. about it. It's still there. Um, and so, you know, just through our conversation, we talked about things in my past that I hadn't necessarily been addressed. Um, and if they were addressed, maybe not to the extent that they needed to be. Yep. And, you know, there's a lot of confidence. There's a lot of um, things that I can lack, just like you. Um, I was talking to a softball team just this weekend, and almost every single one of them had struggling things with confidence. And so I told them I'm the same as you guys. I wake up in the morning, I, I stretch, I get my alone time, and I look in the mirror, and I give myself positive affirmations. And so I told them that, as I'm telling you guys that, yes. we deal with the same things, yep. um, whether that's nervousness, anxiety, confidence, um, fear, even yep. though fear isn't real. That's right. Um, False you know, evidence yeah. appearing real. <laughs> we, we say that all the time. Absolutely. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just, it's the alone time in the morning helps me deal with things. Yeah. And so leading up to the Penn State game, you know, we talked about the confidence. Yep. We talked about the anxiety and just playing my game, yes. relaxing and trusting the process that we have put together over yep. 
a year, a course of the year. Yep. Um, and before the game, I really didn't feel that good. Um, I care about my shoes. <laughs> I like my shoes. And so I, I changed my shoes three different times until I got to the pair of shoes that I wanted. Um, in warm-ups, my legs felt a little bit heavy. But I think that process leading up to the game helped me fall back into our conversations mm. because I had to. Like right. the days that you feel good, you're just out there and you don't really like have to control yourself or like reel yourself back in to focus on the game. Whenever you're feeling good, you can just go and play. That's and it, it kind of just takes care of Flow. itself. Flowing. Um, but sometimes whenever you're not feeling the best, you have to be able to play. And so you have to get yourself ready to play. Yeah, I, yeah. I want to say something really quick there of what he's saying, just flowing mm -hmm. in, in the game. and. That flow state that athletes like to credit. Don't push or pull. Flow. Mm -hmm. Anytime you're going out there and trying to get yours, it doesn't freaking happen. Yeah. The, the, the basket shrinks, you, you start missing shots, but when you just let things flow and happen and you start focusing on things like 50-50 balls, you know, taking charges, helping your teammates up, that, and, and making the extra pass, like, it just comes naturally, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, yeah. And so, like, I had to rehome in on that game. You know, I changed my shoes three times. <laughs> yeah. My legs felt a little heavy. I had a little sniffle. And so I just had to, like, sit down. Instead of, like, going to get extra shots up, I sat down and, like, just meditated for a little bit. Like, I just sat there and breathed. You know, I counted four seconds in, held it mm. four seconds out. Um, and that, like, was a better preparation for the game than going to get more shots up or going to get a good sweat in because my mind was focused and I wasn't mm -hmm. worried about my legs, I wasn't worried about my shoes, which no one ever should be, <laughs> but that is kind of some of my superstition. Um, and then once we got into the game, yeah. I was like aware that my legs didn't feel the best. I was aware that other things were wrong and so I was trying to focus on my teammates. Mm. Uh, I wanted to like, that, that was my focus going into the game. Yeah. Obviously the game, I mean, it wasn't about me, but I had my best game of my life. <laughs> right. So, as you had your best game of your life without focusing on yourself. Yeah, and so like wow. that's how it happens. You know, whenever and in life, whenever you're focusing on other people, yes, good things are going to happen to you. Yes, um, and so like throughout the game, you know, I did end up getting into that flow state. Yeah. I did end yeah. up getting into that comfortable <laughs> position. Say the least. It's where I felt like I could just look away from the rim and throw it up and it would yeah. get win. Uh, that's what it felt like, you know. Yeah. The work that has been put in over time, I was able to just relax and let it, let it play out on the floor. Yes. Um, I like to say no one comes out of nowhere. Absolutely. No one comes out of nowhere. They're always in the, in the, in the corners, in the dark corners working. Even no one's watching. The unseen hours, all the late nights, all the early mornings. And, and it, it was amazing to see you get rewarded for all of that in that in that game. When did you know in that game that like it, <laughs> it was on? When did uh, you know? Yeah. Um, really after the first shot, because the way like I felt, I didn't really feel that good. Like I've said, I didn't really feel that good. But whenever I released it, like I knew it was there, and I was like, okay, next one I'm get, I'm shooting it. That one went in, and I was like, next one I get, I'm shooting it. That one missed. Yeah. But it should have went in, it was in and out, and yep. I was like, okay, I'm shooting this ball yeah. whenever I get the chance to, whenever I'm open, <laughs> whenever I good. feel like, yep. and honestly, like, I was nine for 12 yep. in the game, and I could have shot more. Mm -hmm. But like, I didn't, the, you know what I mean? Didn't force Those 12 it. shots were presented to me. Right. And so, along with our little quote, a line don't grind, don't grind right. um, things work out. If it's supposed to work out for you and you have the work ethic there, random things don't just happen. Don't get us wrong on that. Like nothing is just Facts. nothing is just going to like a lottery <laughs> ticket. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but things don't just happen. You know what I mean? Good things happen to good people. Yeah. Good things happen to people that really are working in the dark and really are like. Whenever you talk about. People don't show up from nowhere. That's exactly what I'm talking yeah. about. Like, you can work in a barn. You can work in the nicest gym. You can work in an average gym. It doesn't matter. If you're, doing a, if you're going along with your process to get to your results, 
it'll take care of itself. That's why like we don't stress about the future. That's it. We're here right now. We're here where we're, our feet are and we're working. I love it. Mason, thanks for sharing us a, a look into that story, a look into uh, your life. And for all of you Hoopers, boys and girls, grades come three out. to 12, come out. come out. Mason and I want to see you. Yes. CompeteTrainingAcademy.org is where you register. That's the website. Get there. All the dates, information on there. Uh, we, Mason and I, we're going to give you the mindset and shooting best practices that we do on a weekly basis. So cannot daily wait. Basis. Daily basis, exactly. Um, it, it's a daily process. <laughs> that's right. So we're, we can't wait to see all of you guys out there and share more awesome stories like you just heard from today. Mason, thank you so much. That was an unbelievable story. Uh, thanks for joining us on the show today. Thank you, man. Appreciate you having me. And we're looking forward to seeing all of you guys and your friends that you're going to tell about this at our camps. So get ready. We're going to get better. That's it. Remember, competing, doing what God calls you to do, even when it's hard.